Welcome to Home Safety Hotline. Let's check our mailbox, I guess. Ooh, hello. Home safety hotline. We Welcome. need to make sure Ooh. the home remains secure, safe, and most importantly, hotline. Okay. Welcome to Home Safety Hotline family. We are uh, pleased to have you aboard our brand new Home Safety Hotline responder slash role. Your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to debrief you on your duties. She'll be doing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a Boring! Clocking in. Clock it. There you go. Bed no box. entry selected. Bed bugs, eh. Bees? Oh, hello. Oh. Answer call. Didn't we play this like six or so months ago or something? No. The demo. I don't think so. We did. Did we? Yes. Oh. I swear we have. Hold on. Oh, safety hot line. I swear we've done this before. Okay, anyway. Guys, I don't know if you've done this before in the comments which video it is because we have so many videos now. Thank you, Carol. Bed bugs, black mold. Carpenter? How are the carpenter ants getting your house? Bees. Bees! So there's audio samples for some of these. What's the audio sample for black mold? I said some, not all. Well, what's the audio sample for black mold? There, there isn't one. Uh, here's the audio sample. There it is. Oh, hello. Uh, hello? Okay. Oh? Uh? Okay. This looks like coffee. Uh, oh. Go for a house fly, house spider, mice. My, it might be mice, because mice do drag some dirt. Uh, mice are small, worthless rodents commonly found in households. Uh, homeowners are, with a mice infestation commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and sounds of spe uh, squeaking. I would assume it's this. But there's no dirt. Well, the mouse droppings could be seen as the coffee grounds that he's referring uh, to. Raccoon. Raccoon. Termites, termites. Ticks. Mole. Gopher. The only thing I could think of would either be cockroaches or mice. What's at the bottom? Termites That's it. Ticks. Okay, ticks, termites. It might, it might just be as simple as a mice. Mouse? Mice. Setting. Okay. Do you want to have your wife tell us anything more? Okay, bye. Uh, house spider. House fly. Small, eight like it. Well, these are just, just, these are just, you know, if you call for a goddamn fly. <laughs> Mole. Uh, uh, attic. E e e e e. Oh. Hold on, hold, hold. That's not that e, -E, -E. Is, that's not e -E -E. Where's the bite of mites? Man, there's a lot of mice in this neighborhood. Maybe mice. Probably a not a raccoon. Termites. They don't ticks, make sound. Cockroaches. Gopher. That's pretty close to what they're describing. But they're mostly in the dirt. They don't live in attics. Was hmm. it maybe cockroach? Yep. Okay, it was cockroaches. They're how so homeowners <sighs> with a cockroach infestation commonly report be seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. Well, you see, I would have thought you would see a cockroach. Well, sometimes they're really small. Sometimes they're huge. Mostly small, though. We didn't jump the gun on that guy. Sad. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Whoa. Uh, you your face. Okay. Who the hell is that? I don't know. Oh, is that the metamorphosis? Maybe. We. Okay. I think we need to be a little bit more meticulous about our. Process. Maybe a little bit more meticulous. I, I yes, I, I agree. We should be more picky. Okay. Hello. What do you want? Okay. Okay. Oh. You want someone to mow okay. your lawn? So your kid can't do it because he's sick. Probably got bit by a tick. Can be found in tall grass. They latch onto the host, often unseen, and burrow their heads into the flesh of their victims. Hosts will often report symptoms of illness, such as fevers, headaches, or chills. Oh. I'd a bet it's probably a tick. Uh, oh. but let's. Yeah, they probably. So let's see what else tick. it potentially is. There's termites, raccoons. Mole Termites mice. don't bowl, burrow into people. House spider, house, spider? house fly. House spider, no, that, maybe. No, spiders are usually in the house. We're talking about, they're only talking about the outside. How tall yeah, the grass is. Yeah, commonly report web sightings. Carpenter ants? Probably not. It's gotta okay. be ticks. Yeah, it's gotta be tick. Ticks. Get out of here. Go on. <sighs> Feels nice oh, helping. 75% accuracy. Nice. We only got one wrong. You missed one guy. That's not bad. First day? Yeah, yeah not first bad. Day, not bad. Achievement. Complete your first day of home safety hotline. Logging in user guess that one. Monitor setup. Okay. Mailbox. Mailbox. Hello. You don't know me yet, but I'm used to. I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too uh, late to quit freely. Trust me. With spelling like that, I don't want to trust. Oh, time you. to log in for work. Next day, Tuesday. Also, oh, how's our job dangerous? If we're just reporting stuff in. We're not even going to the field. But um. Clock in. Let's go for the 90% accuracy today. Gotta have 90% accuracy. Let's see what we have here. Still the same entries. Perfect. Well, we'll just wait then. 
two hours later. Uh, Infested with these pests sometimes report a faint rustling sound coming from inside their walls as the ants build their nests. Oh! Ants are small insects known for nesting inside of wood. There's bite. There's teeth marks on my bed posts. I, I mean, the bed do. teeth don't gnaw at the post. They gnaw on you or something. Yeah, you report stuff on yourself, so it's carpenter ants. Maybe. Let's okay. Carpenter ants is the most likely. Not cellar growths. So, not cellar. Not cockroaches. Cockroaches maybe. Nope. No. False beat. The false beat. No. Um. I don't think anything else works. I think it's carpenter ants. If it's bed teeth, nice. I'm gonna lose it. My oh. sheets are eating me. Yeah, re don't report that, but report the bite marks on your bedpost. Hello, that was quick. Okay. Yeah. So it's just something in your walls scratching or something. It's real cold. quiet. It's real quiet. No droppings. <clears throat> scratching or flapping at night. You haven't seen any droppings though. So... Go down. <coughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the fracture, fracture hub. Um. Fracture hub to those pieces of hub to cause cracks and fractures in the walls and homes they inhabit. Sound. Doesn't seem it. They have an audio sample right there. Oh. What? <laughs> what was that? I think that's them opening up a crack. Nope. Faint rustling sound coming from their walls. Mm, no. He's been hearing scratching. Uh, I'm gonna say bat. Okay. I'm sure that. I'm sure I nailed that. I hope you did. This was like working retail, folks. Just sitting here for hours on end until you get a call randomly, and when you answer, they're they're, they're usually nice people. Yeah, that's the word. Hey, Dan. What? Desk cop. It's a desk cop. I don't even need to look for that one. How dare Bob break into my house and organize my hey, desk? You're close. It's not Bob. It is a hob, though. Well. Sixty <laughs> percent. What did we get wrong? I don't know. I thought we did pretty well. Is it like, uh, timed? I doubt it. it uh, they, they gave, gave you, you access, access to, to more info, didn't uh -huh. they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's a safe it's place. A safe it's safe there. We're here. Network errors. Uh, attention call team. Our network team is migrating our backend services over to a new hosting provider this week so you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days uh you will be expected to provide accurate answers to your callers regardless of the network's status okay. so you may not let's have just, access to some things what's this broadcast the real, real estate, estate update. update it is 1996 84 thousand dollars in 1996 84 thousand dollars hundred and four thousand for two bedrooms this might be a little inflated. 124 four bed and five bath. 2100 square feet. Is a there any community, community alert. alert. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following countries. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Barry County. $9,000 is, no. Uh, what, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. I'd buy that. Give me that. $12,000. For five bed and six bath? I'd hire a contract worker to just make it clean. That's gonna cost what? Five, five grand? Cheap house. Credits. Jesus Christ, that was horrifying. Home safety hotline, day three, Wednesday. That time they told me close to you. Begin shift, please clock in. I think maybe you are a little timed. I don't know. It's maybe. weird. But, hello? Hello. Where you want? Hi, Carol. Okay, cool. Uh huh. Cool. Boggart? Boggart. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Okay. What was it, though? I don't know. They won't you tell me. Bat? Hi, Boggart. Uh, humanoids between six and seven feet tall, but are convincing false faces. They are known for causing household accidents such as flooding, fires, and electrical outages. They are frequently observing their targets while they sleep. False artifact. Hello? <clears throat> That's a slug. Uh. False rose bush? I don't think that's it. No. Nope. What the? F Those are feet. Ugh. Stop that! Stop! Stop it! Ugh. Lamp, Lamp sprite. Oh, well, we know what that looks like. Memory wisp. Mirror nymph. Due to critical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. The issue will be corrected at the, by the end of the month. Our invisible, orderless household 
wisps that are known for removing memories from the home and its homeowners. Homeowners infected with memory wisps will often report missing pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Mirror Nymph. Uh, I just remember that Beck and the others to look into it. homeowners afflicted by mirror nymphs commonly report not being able to recognize their own faces. Okay. Tea Sprite. Toilet hot again. That's horrifying. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Homeowners infested with tea sprites commonly report leaf like droppings and sounds of fluttering near kitchens. Oh, toilet, hob. toilet hob. Well, we know what that one does. It cleans the toilet. Great. Good job. It cleans the toilet. Whatever. Unicorn fungi. Whistling fungi. Wine. What? Hi, unicorn well, fungi. Homeowners often report They often affect the animal's disposition, mm. causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets fiercely digging around or inside their home. Whistling, whistling fungi. fungi. Isn't it whistling sound coming from their walls? Wine sprite? Okay. Ugh. They have a long proboscis that they use to drink. Homeowners infected with wine sprites commonly pour broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Wood secretions. Ugh. How? It is known to drip from wooden materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky buildup. Uh, stair slug. Basements, homeowners infested with stair slug commonly report a slimy residue at the top of the stairs on, on steps or other household inclines. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's stair slug. Sure, I'll go with it. Yeah, stair slug. Hello? <laughs> Memory wisp. I think this guy's going to have a mental breakdown. Uh, um... Imagine saying all that, and this guy just says, "Please hold." It's Mem probably a, it it's either a memory wisp or the mirror nymph. Look at the mirror nymph. Look at the mirror I, nymph. I believe the mirror nymph is you can't recognize your own face. Yeah, you can't recognize your own your own face. You so I think have... it's a memory wisp. Yeah, uh, right. yeah. have the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Memory wisp. How do you deal with that? I'm curious. I have no idea. You get like a, a butterfly. Uh, memory solution. Memory wisp. Move out of the house on their own pace uh, once they are still on the way to have its memories. There is no need for further action. Die. Um, well, you don't want to start the horror? No. I'm not going to waste my time. Die. Uh, you'd be a great service member, Moon. Imagine it's like somebody calls you like, hey, my computer. Die. Is there a refrigerator running there? No bed idea teeth. Uh, either bed, but. Ooh. Oh. What was that? I'm having network errors. I it's remember. bed teeth. It's bed it's teeth. It's bed teeth. The, their beds is growing sharp stuff. So that's what the network errors are. They force you to remember things. Yep. Oh, it's still going. Still out. You're not going to be able to play anything, Moon. I know. Hello? Uh, um, oh. It has a fractured hob. Yep. Uh, everything's still broken? Nope, everything's fixed. But uh, it, we already know what it is. It's a fracture hob. Yep. Happy to help you, ma'am. It's a fracture hob. What is that? Here you go, Wanda. Figure it out. All right, let's look at the thing. Do you think this is good? The last week I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from the living room. And the other package you guys sent that have a bowl of cream. What kind of joke is that? Blah, 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 blah. No thanks to you. And now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair damages. Flooding, fires, or electrical outages. Okay, maybe you're right. Maybe it is a bogger. Try bogger. I mean, the worst that happens is we get a 20% mark or whatever. Yeah. Could be a lot worse. 83.3. That's not bad. That's better. It's not bad. We went from 60 to 83. I think it's like a total accumulation accuracy. I think it's just for the day. I think it's just total. No way. Is it? Oh, hello. Science, Science mysteries, and mailbox. Mysteries. This is just... Oh, New hello. office pet. Whiskers! Oh, my God! We're afraid of picking up or feeding Whiskers. Yes, he is still getting to know everyone in the office and he has scheduled feeding times. Okay. So cute! Science mysteries. Hello. What in the G mod is this? Uh, I think we have time for one more day. Yeah, one more day. And this oh, is a Bill Nye oh. the Science Guy kind of crap. The mystery of mice. What do you mean, the mystery of mice? Mice are a mystery, my dear mice. son. Mice! All his friends. The mice are the hobs. The smart mouse. Oh. Oh. There's not a thought behind that thing's eyes. Correct. Oh. Okay. What? No. What? Did you hear something? Oh. No. No. No, I refuse. Moon, we're going to the next day on this thing. I'm so, ready. I'm so ready for the next day to involve smart mice. 
I hear something on my wall. Oh, you got a smart mouse. Yeah, they're like parrots. Come in the cumin somehow. They are capable of communication. Get them for your kid. Anyway, clock in. Clock in. Someone's going to call and say that we screwed them over or something. Oh, well, yeah, we only got 83%, so I'm going to bet. We're going to get a call from Carol. I'm going to skip it because I don't care about my manager. And more access to information. Hello? Yes, I get it. More access to information. Yeah, Rise, rest upon the Okay. Attic gnome. Attic gnome. Rapping sound coming from it. Okay, that's... Cellar okay. grotto. What? Hello? It's the false beat. Yeah? How, the, what do you, how do you figure that? The, 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 the false beat. Uh, the false beat said... Oh, Fay Feast. No. They are known to appear near... Okay. Fay Flu. Whoa. Ooh. Headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming. Anyway, uh, but the false beat, um, creatures that, uh, have a, with a beat-like appearance are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves along their vegetables. False beasts are harmless unless eaten by a human, at which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off its nutrition for its lifetime. There, this can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. Aches and pains, stomach issues. A swallowed false beast cannot be removed without killing a host. Oh, no. Unsuspected travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They're found most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. Okay, I'm gonna say false beast. Yep, this guy's gonna have stomach problems for the rest of his life. I'm sorry. Don't worry, we'll send somebody away to shoot you in the head immediately. That'll be good for you. Answer. So, uh, hello, how can we help you today over at HSH? Oh, hello. it might have been the uh, unicorn fungi. How? Because it could have caused her cat to start clawing at the dig at the wall ferociously to cause the cracks. She mentioned that her cat would claw at the couch, but wouldn't ever claw at the side of the wall. Oh. Night gnome. Just That's when I close the window, I can hear him breathing. I've been sleeping on the uh, Let me check the night gnome again. Night gnome? Where's the night gnome? Night gnome! Uh breathing reports sighting them in the control. middle of the night or heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Yeah, night gnome. Uh yeah, just don't trust the police to do their job and come make sure you're okay if it's someone It sounds like it's hissing like a snake. It sounds so weird. I don't like it. It sounds like what it's doing like a night gnome? trill. Just <sighs> Hmm. Attic gnome. Let's see what you got here, attic gnome. Infested with attic gnomes are often report knocking and rapping sound coming from stair ceilings or surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. Yeah, probably attic gnome. Attic gnome. So we send this information to them. We send, so we report what we think it is, and then they get sent pieces of information from higher ups because they can't legally know everything for some reason. Even though if everybody knew all of this at all times, it'd make everybody's life easier. So much easier. Oh, you got an attic gnome? What are the attic gnome eradicators over here? <laughs> attic gnome eradicators. Gnome exterminators, uh, we'll get the gun. Gnome exterminators here. Who kidnaps children no. here? Um. What kidnaps children here? I don't know. Have, uh, Is it the horde? Wait, is it a They portal? weren't talking about a horde. They weren't talking about that either. No. Um. They travel. They, 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 no. they're like rodents. They travel a lot. They don't, they don't like that whistling I, fungi. I don't know what happened to your kid, lady. I don't think anything we have is applicable. We keep looking. We got to keep looking. What do we want to say it is? I have no idea. It's the false artifact. Uh, oh. Whoa. Oh. They are known for making gentle buzzing sounds and usually only be heard by very young human children or uh, small animals. Homeowners with false artifacts often report false artifact. out of place objects or missing children or pets. I've never been so happy to look at a random thing. Your child was killed. They're missing at least. Probably killed. Why can you use a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process? God. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Please hold. Okay. Is it the, the, the wall so breaker? So cracks Wait, and again. pieces of half-eaten cheese. What's the, the, the thing? Fracture knob? Fracture hob. hob. They hold it up. They're physically similar to the hobs and the blah, blah, blah. The, the, the hmm. Huh. Cracks and they don't, the walls but cheese? Where's the cheese come from? I don't know where the cheese is coming from. 
Uh, can you scroll down to prevent further any measures for metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible? It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese. Mmm. We didn't Extra look at the solution. Hot. We gotta look at the solution. We, got, we gotta actually start reading these dangers and solutions. Yep. Okay. Understood. Smart. I mean, we can I... use the base information to give us a hint at least to then read solutions. Yeah. That'd probably be helpful. Okay. Waiting for the next one. Oh! Uh, hello! Hi! Hi! Sorry, the cat is Jeff? fighting wire. Are you dying? Screw off. But I want to know what his order was. I don't care. 60 gallons of orange juice or something. Hello? Spraying your cat. Spray? So, uh, okay. That's not a phone call. That's not a phone call. So Worst headaches. Really, I woke up and my eyes are starting to look kind of pink. Oh, it's Faith Lou. What? Yeah, we'll try, bud. It's Faith Lou. I wanted to read the rest of the Faith Lou. You sure it's Faith Lou? It, well, we can't read anything. It's network error. Mmm. The Man. Faith Lou mentioned eye discoloration and a bunch of just regular uh, sickness stuff. Headaches. Stuff of that nature. Once the next call comes in, I'll click on Faith Lou and you can give me crap if I'm wrong. Okay, thank there you. you are. Good God. What? It's roots. Uh, oh. Oh. They're probably uh, dead. So yeah, uh, this was Faith Lou. Uh, yeah. Headaches, fever, eye discoloration. No... Okay. Anyway. Uh, uh, there is no cure for there is no cure for flay fey flu. Those around various objects or humans in their vicinity. It wrapped itself around it wrapped itself around his dog. Floor roots require something to wrap around before they cease their growth. So it is advised to require dolls or similar human shaped facsimile to give them a safer alternative. Place the dolls in the affected room and leave the roots alone for the night. By morning, the doll and roots should be gone and the room safe and to inhabit once more. Make any repairs to the floor as needed or utilize HSH's home repair services. Ah, however, it is not spotted quickly. They are known to strang... They are, they are known... Uh, are a known strangling hazard, hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Hmm. Yeah, it's floor, it's floor roots. Have you not noticed this before, man? Yeah, how would you not notice roots coming in? I would have called, like, I don't know, a, a wood expert? Just roots there. coming through my floorboards? Right. Anyways, your pet's dead. That yeah, faithful your guy's pet's, probably your dead, pet's too. very dead. I'm sorry for your loss, man. That faithful guy? He's dead. Well, they, they do not have a lot of R uh, things, seemingly. They have a raccoon. Answer. Okay. Is, hmm, okay. Uh, um, no. D did you buy a bad rug or something? Whatever. Stay there, ma'am. I don't know many. I'm thinking either portal. No, they report strange dreams and cold drafts and stuff. Um. Okay, nothing in danger. Okay, it's not, it's not a portal. My other thought is... I had one, and now it's gone. Is it cellular something? Cellar something? Oh, yeah, cellar grotto. Is it said that Here's it can Here's potentially seen setters at cellars. Cellars and basements, homeowners and cellar grottos. Often support a bad smell coming in the basement, high humidity in the home, and notable increase in large... No, uh... Introduce dangerous pests into the home and are heightened humidity and introduce... Okay. So they just got home, and then suddenly... In 20... Jerk. It's Travel Gnome. Oh, yeah, they just got back home! Thank you for saying that again. They just got back home? Yeah. That actually would have taken me like 20 minutes to realize. Travel Gnome! Find the gnome. Break its head open. What's the solution for that, actually? Spraying pesticides and weed killer in the home can de deter Travel Gnome's gardening prospects, at which point... The opportunity to travel in a better location to encourage the travel numbers really okay. Can invite. There's still Whatever. More. Okay. What? It's a unicorn fungus. Vet, Son of a. But, uh, yeah. oh. for there was stuff growing though. I didn't think the dog was digging holes. I didn't think the dog was digging holes. They're suddenly just digging holes in my home. I don't know. Uh... Oh, whatever. <sighs> whatever. You could have told us any information about your dog, yes, like. Having something on their head? Cellar Grotto! Uh-huh. Either Cellar Grotto or Cellar Growth. It's a Cellar Grotto. Yeah, it's a Grotto. I agree with you. It smells like hell down there. All right. 88. I'll consider it as a win. Yeah, I agree. Minus the dog, which, by the way, uh, looks like it hit the dog will be fine anyways. So, you know? You want to go ahead and reese off? All right. 
Guys, thank you for watching this play home safety hotline. Do not trust us with your home safety or hotline because... Uh, what was that? The hole is breached. Repeat, the hole is breached. It's not safe here. It must find a new spot. It knows I'm here. Oh, and then scheduling changes. Yeah, don't ever trust Moon and I with your home safety or your hotline because we'll probably screw it up like we did here a little bit. But thank you guys so much for the help. We appreciate... For, for the help. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video, but we'll see you, see you next time on the Sun and Moon Show. Bye, guys.